What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the PS4 trainer by Tyler Mods. In fact, it's not just by Tyler Mods. Also credit to these people as well. So um, yeah, this is a new trainer that runs from a web browser. Now normally I wouldn't cover another trainer because I've already covered the community trainer by DeathRGH and the regular PS4 trainer by Tyler Mods. But this one's unique because it runs from a web browser and that gives you way more sort of freedom to use it in different scenarios. So for example, you could just use it on the computer, connect to your PS4 just like you would with any other RTE tool, or you because it's web browser based, you can access it from you know your smartphone. You could use that to mod your PS4 from your smartphone, just load it up on your phone, or even on the PS4 itself, although it's not you know, doing it that way is not really recommended, I would say, because PS4's browser is very slow and has issues, so it's it's not great, but you can. You can actually use it on the PS4 itself so that you don't need any other device to mod your games. You can do it completely solely on the PS4, so long as the PS4 has an internet connection. So, yeah, that's why it's, it's definitely worth it. Uh, you know, making a video on this and I've had quite a few requests from various people on Twitter and stuff like that wanting me to uh, to make a tutorial on this. And uh, I'm going to be doing Killing Floor as a, as a test uh, which only has God Mode but this trainer you know for other games it does have a lot more options like uh, Devil May Cry 4 has tons of options that you can enable right here and uh, also Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy got quite a lot of options as well. I'm just doing Killing Floor 2 because it just happens to be a game I already had downloaded uh, as I was testing something else. So anyway, let's head over to the PS4. We're going to go onto the internet browser and uh, load up, you know, your WebKit exploit, load up Hen if you need to, if you need uh, to use Hen to run your game. And then we're going to go to the PS4 Trainer website. So you go to uh, ps4trainer.com. So if you just head there on the PS4, that will take you to the trainer website. You can access the trainer by clicking here, or you can inject the payload by selecting the payload. If you click on payload, it will redirect you to the normal WebKit exploit where you're going to select WebRTE, which is the payload that you need. So also, I should mention that this is literally the normal exploit page. If you press circle, it will take you back here where you have all your payloads for 5.05. So you can just press circle and go to PS4 RTEs, which will take you to the same section. So you want to load up the web RTE payload. So go ahead and load this and we'll get a little message saying PS4 trainer, enjoy the mods. So then what we're going to do is go ahead and press the middle button to exit and note down your PS4's IP address. So if you head into settings and scroll down to system, system information and your IP address is right there so note that down and then we're going to run the game that we want to mod so I'm going to go ahead and run Killing Floor 2 okay I'm just going to go ahead and load a solo game on uh, the hardest difficulty to show that God Mode is, is going to work here so load into a game now like I said it's not recommended to be um, to be doing this from the PS4 itself but We'll see if it works anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the game. Now, you, when you do this, you want to press the middle button, then go back onto the internet browser, go back to the PS4 Trainer uh, website, and go ahead and load the actual trainer page this time, which will take you to ps4trainer.com forward slash trainer, and just go ahead and close the main page right here. And then we have the trainer on the actual PS4 itself. You need to still enter the PS4's IP address because remember, this is still a website hosted on an external server, so it doesn't know where what uh, you know your PS4 is, what IP your PS4 is on. So we're gonna go ahead and enter uh, the PS4's IP address in here. Point one one seven. Make sure there's no spaces or anything. And then there we go. So you enter the PS4's IP address. Then we scroll down to find the game that we want to mod, which in my case is Killing Floor 2. 
So obviously make sure that uh, your version of the game is the same game version that's listed here. So CUSA02134 and that you're running the same version that's supported as well. Same with all of these games because some of them are for different versions like you know 01.05, 1 1.81. So make sure that that is correct. So we're going to go ahead and select Killing Floor 2. And uh, again, because we're doing this on the PS4, it's going to be a little bit slow. But there we go. It says trainer attached. And then I can go ahead and enable God mode. We'll get a little message on screen there saying God mode enabled. Then press the middle button on the PS4 again to exit. And then go back into your game. And that should be it. I should have God mode. Yep, there you go. My health's not going down at all. How about that? So you can mod your games completely off the PS4 itself rather than having to run a separate trainer application on another device and remotely connect to uh, your PS4 from that device to mod the game. You can do it like this or you can do it on your smartphone or on, you know, literally, literally anything. Let's go ahead and pause anything that can or has a modern web browser at least. So we go back into uh, the internet browser again to so take us back onto the trainer. And unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to enter my IP address every time. So definitely, this is why I say it's, it's not recommended to do it this way. But the fact that you, you can do it this way is awesome. And the other reason I wouldn't recommend it is because some mods for some games rely on stuff that has to be set in a constant loop where it's writing memory constantly in a loop for you know recharging a health bar or uh, something like that it's just going to be constantly being set in a, in a loop all the time and i don't know if the web browser in the ps4 would be able to to handle that if, it, if that would even work or if it would just crash and cause cause errors and stuff um so yeah not 100 percent sure on that but let's go ahead and see if we can Disable God Mode now. Go back down to Killing Floor 2. Okay, so it thinks it's disabled, but if I enable it and then disable it, that should basically give us the same thing that we're after. So minimize, go back on the game. And yep, my health's going down now. You can see in the bottom left, it's gone down to 81. Now they're attacking each other for some reason. 70, 59. So it's going down. So there you go, it works. And just to show you how much smoother it is on the computer, if we switch over to the computer version and do it on the computer. So 192.168.137.117. Uh, then go down to da -da -da, Killing Floor 2. Trainer attached, just like that. God mode enabled, back onto the PS4. You can see it gets enabled there. And there we go, health's not going down again. So it's definitely better to do it from a computer or a smartphone, something that has a modern web browser because it's a lot smoother. But the, just the fact that you can do it on the PS4, it's completely all on the PS4, even load the web kit, the actual payload can be loaded from the PS4. So you don't need an external device at all for this just an internet connection um, so that's cool I mean you may not even need an internet connection if they release the uh, you know the actual source files for this so that you could host it on a local server or um, or something like that so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful if you did go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one